In this short video we're going to learn about how to create filters. If you look at the top of the screen here you'll see it says no filter. So these are all the tasks in, since the start of the project. There are some that have been archived, some which are complete, some in progress, some planned and some in the backlog. It would be quite useful to, for example, look at only the tasks from the current sprint, sprint 3. This is now those current tasks from, that were created in sprint 3. There's one that's been left in the backlog there is one that's still in progress and two that have been completed. Suppose we wanted to create a, a filter, let's create a new filter, for all those tasks from Sprint 2. So we might call it Sprint 2 and therefore Sprint 2 and apply it. And then we, we now have this filter. We can, whenever we want, we can take away the filter. The very filter to make is current and future sprints. Let's have a look at that one. Suppose we were in Sprint 3. And so in this one you'll see that there's two tasks completed, seven in progress, two planned, and there's still three in the backlog. These three in the backlog are considered possible candidates for a future sprint. Let's look at the definition of that by going to Edit Current Filter. In this one you'll see it says that at least one of these two conditions has been true. First, that sprint is one of these three values, which is the current sprint or a future sprint or the backlog, and that the status is not complete or archived. If it's complete or archived, that means it's from an old or earlier sprint and it's not going to happen in the future. So if we apply this sprint, we get this picture. When you first log into Smartsheet, you, and you don't have any filters, I highly recommend you create this current and future sprint. One of the problems, however, is that every time a sprint is completed, you have to update it. So after, you have to come and edit it, and you have to add, for example, sprint 4, or sprint 5, or sprint 6, as you go through your two-week cycles.